gear fear something everybody has been through and most people struggle with in this camp we're going to talk about what causes gear fear what i did to get rid of gear fear and little tips for you to use in your race going forth you clicked on this video maybe you're curious on what a player like me's input is going to be on gear fear a very common topic there's already been a lot of videos on this topic so i'm not going to talk about the cliche stuff you can find the information pretty much anywhere i'm going to talk about the things that i don't really hear other people talking about and things that i actually did to help myself with gear fear without you know taking other people's advice in its simplest form gear fear is just the fear of losing your gear it doesn't matter how many tens of thousands of hours you have in this game you had gear fear at some point if you didn't you're fucking lying gear fear gives off a sense of paranoia which affects players differently it might make someone sharper overall more responsive or make them second guess most of the things that they do what causes gear fear is the lack of confidence you got to find what you lack confidence in whether it's mechanical skill map knowledge or you maybe you're not comfortable using a certain gun whatever it may be you got to find out what the issue is so we can fix the problem so let's say i lack confidence in map control i don't remember what i lack confidence in specifically it's been about a year since i started playing but let's just say map control right there's a number of different things you can do to gain confidence in the map that you're trying to learn right play offline shit. Like you don't have eod uh scav in if those two options are not viable for you start using shitty kits to run around the map and figure out your routing figure out different angles that you're exposed to in certain areas and if you do die due to map knowledge it's not going to be as big of a burden because you're using a shitty kit you want to start using gear that complements your level of confidence because it will take a while to learn a map so just play it patient use gear that complements your level of confidence and start progressing from there the next thing i use is insurance frauding if you're not sure what insurance frauding is it's pretty much just frauding your own gear set for somebody else's that you've killed in that raid. Since I'm averaging multiple kills a raid, this one's a no-brainer for me. You can imagine the benefits you're getting with it too. You weigh less, you make less noise, and you're more versatile in fights. It's very effective, especially me playing reserve. There's a couple of spots around the map. You would label them as god spots because even if somebody knows my gear is down there, they wouldn't actually be able to get it unless you're cheating and you clip through the wall. But right there's no cheaters in this game it's so effective that i still use it today people ask me all the time yo why is your stash got so much gear in it what people just don't take your gear set after they kill you no i'm killing other people and tossing my own gear set after i swipe theirs if someone's rocking a tier 4 and i'm rocking a tier 4 i'm gonna toss mine and take yours if you're rocking an m4 and i'm using an m4 we got similar builds I'm going to take your M4, I'm going to toss mine. You know what I mean? When I first started doing this, I would, I'd literally just toss every single item I had on my character just to guarantee I'd get everything back. Back when I had gear fear. It didn't matter what the enemy was using. I was tossing my gear set no matter what. If I brought a big ass juicy kid in and he had a ketter, I'm tossing it, taking his ketter. <laughs> doing this gave me a lot of confidence because the way I picture it is you have a free gear set. So use it at your own disposal. You know what I mean? There's no risk. Uh, if you're stuck for money, something I'd always do would be ensuring everything on your head. So helmet, headphones, mask, glasses, whatever it is on your head. Because those things are the most common items you'll find on other players. Everybody's going to be using headphones, masks, helmets. So you're most likely going to toss those things. With body armor, there's a couple more checkboxes that got to be ticked off. Are the plates fine? How's the durability looking? Is the body armor good? There's a lot of body armor now that's rendered useless with the new with the new update they patched out or they rolled out this wipe. Um, how much does the body armor weigh? Because I I take into account the weight of body armors. You know, I don't use certain ones. You know what I mean? With weapons, it's the same thing. A couple more checkboxes got to be ticked off. Is the weapon something I would use? Does it have good ammo in it? Is he using the same caliber I already have in my gamma case to repack with? If he's not, does he have enough ammo for me to sustain myself during the raid? You know, there's a couple more things with backpacks uh, most people are using backpacks so i wouldn't ensure that rigs it's really up to you so take into account what map you're playing what are you doing a raid what kind of players are you running into and ensure your items accordingly for the lunatics that main factory i wouldn't ensure on this map because the chances of hiding something in the map and it not being found is low because the map is so small the people that are just saving their best gear for never you are going to bring a good kit and you are going to die to bullshit it's inevitable that's just how the game balances itself out so there's no point just leaving gear in your stash collecting dust the longer it takes for you to use this good gear in your stash everybody else is accumulating this good gear also so now it's not so good anymore it's going to be average by the time you actually use it so if you find something good like a zabralo early wipe 
use it. It's rare and it's good because nobody else has it and you have the clear advantage. So if you wait until end wipe to use it, well shit, everybody and their mother's gonna be rolling around with their bottles like bowling balls. Anyways, I'm gonna keep this video short and informative the way I keep most of these types of videos. I do coaching as well. If you're looking for the most effective way to get better at this game, hit me up. Link's gonna be in the description and I appreciate 30,000 people hitting the sub button on my YouTube. I appreciate it a lot. Much love and yeah, I'll talk to you boys.